Mary Ellen Egan. I'm the Senior Content Director for Social Media Today, and I'm here with Jason Moriber, the Executive Director for Verizon Wireless. And we're here for the panel, The Data Selfie, What to Serve Your Customers to Make Them Want You. I'm filling in today for Benefshe, who is actually will be live today in front of you to, talk to further, further our discussion. But in the meantime, Jason and I are going to talk about how he engaged with Benefshe and Tangerine Lab to solve a very specific problem that Verizon Wireless had. So Jason, what was the problem that you were trying to solve for your company? So we were putting out content and we weren't measuring it correctly. We weren't measuring it for metrics that we thought um, made a difference to the business. So I think at the beginning when we started um, our new center, uh, we have different um, content hubs at Verizon Wireless. The one I'm speaking about is our new center, which okay. is run by the digital communications and the corporate communications team. It's our hub to share our news with the world. And um, I think it started off by, by a notion of let's stop writing press releases and let's start to tell our news our way. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we started it, we were just pushing stuff out. Hey, we wrote something, push it out. Did anyone read it? Did we get traffic? We're done. Push it out, did anyone read it? Traffic, we're done. And what that ended up with is a, a very ragged um, sort of metrics count, if you can imagine, which didn't really provide too many insights on, well, did it work and did it reach its goals and what was the intent and, right. and was it valuable? It was just, oh, do we get traffic or not? And um, that could be okay right. right, as a place to start. And it was for us a really great place to start. But over time we realized, okay, now that we're doing this, what, what are the deeper metrics and what are those real insights we need to get so we can go back to the business and say, guess what, we wrote this and it did A, B, and C, right. and it has this much impact, and this is what it means. So some of it was proving that, that the, your content had impact, that engaged the consumer, and that there was actual real measurable meaning that you could track? Yes, exactly. And we have different audiences in our news center. So uh, consumers are one. Um, we, we, we use a little bit of the Jeffrey Moore adoption, technology adoption uh, curve of the early adopters, the late majority, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, and they have the, the innovators over on the left. Um, and we also have media, right? So okay. we did get rid of uh, the press release process, but we still need to attract media. So if you think of our news center, there actually are lots of different goals happening, uh, which we weren't really uh, counting, we weren't right. really covering. So we want to uh, we want to break news that we want media to, to see and say, oh look, they've broken news. Right. Let's go tell the story. Let's ask them for more information. Then there are uh, some stories that we don't necessarily need the media for amplification for that. We just say this is direct to our customers or to potential customers. Mm -hmm. And other stuff is more around what you might say is sustain. That um, this is stuff we're already doing. We just want to add some more um, information around something, whether it's a pricing plan that happened a month ago right. or a new device, something like that. So we're not, we're not really breaking news. We're not really trying to track that early majority of those influencers. We're just trying to have stuff that continues the conversation and informs. Now, those are very different metrics. Absolutely. And so uh, Ben Afshay uh, and her team helped us figure out, okay, if these are your different metrics, what type of uh, scorecard and, and measurement regime routine do you need to do? Mm -hmm. And so then, and so what did that entail on, on their end and on your end as far as coming up with that plan? And why was it so important to the leadership at Verizon? Okay, so I'll start with the uh, important leadership. Well, everyone wants to know uh, your value. Right. Right, so we have, I mean, that's for marketing, for sales, for all those teams and metrics um, Verizon Wireless is a very metrics-driven organization. It's very important to us that we can we can see are we pushing the needle in different categories, and you know public relations communications is probably the hardest one to do. Right. It reminds me of um, my friends that are in social innovation, where like impact. I think there's some metric where you know a, a sales or marketing effort you can see the impact within a week or two. Uh, an impact like a cause effort might take right. two years to you really right. see it, and so that's a big gap. So for leadership, it was, okay, how do we close that gap? How can we show that the, the work we're doing as a communications function um, is evolving and that we can close that gap so we can go back to leadership and say, hey, guess what? We did A, B, and C. It did A, B, and C. Right. And here are the results. And that's what they're like, great. Right? Because if you can do that, um, that's gold. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right? Especially, so anyway, so, and the second part of your question, I got, I got lost track with that first one. Well, then how did, so oh, you used to measure your content before by, just by traffic. Yes. And now you brought on Tangerine Lab to give you a deeper dive and to get more meaningful um, yes. tracking measures. And so what, how did you work with them and how did you devise what you were, what the end goal was? Yes. 
So uh, in a way they came in, and I guess you could say that they did a pretty wide audit. We had begun um, some audits on our operations. Um, I'm new in the, new-ish in the role. I'm not, I can't use the rookie card anymore. Right. I've been there almost a year. I still try. Um, but um, so when I uh, joined the team, I sort of did uh, an audit to say, okay, what pieces do we have? What are we missing? What's an ideal operation? Mm -hmm. Knowing we can't get to Nirvana, but let's try to get there. And then um, I think Ben F. Shea, I guess the best way to characterize it is they sort of came into the same thing. They said, okay, what do you have? Right. What's available? What are you missing? And then those things aren't, aren't necessarily the assets. It's the, what are you missing when it comes to the KPIs? What are the right KPIs that you should be tracking? And do you then have the right data inputs to get to those KPIs? Mm -hmm. So we first talked about, it's, it's really around value. Right. What is, the, what is the value of these pieces of content? And then what, are the, what, what inputs do you need to make that content better? Or uh, what measurement do you need to see if you are pushing the needle? Mm -hmm. um, and so is, is a, I'll, I'll let Ben actually get into the details, right. but there are lots of different facets on um, how you take the actions of a team, uh, the outputs of the team, and then how you measure it. Uh, a lot of it shifted, so for us, it shifted from traffic mm -hmm. to goals. So then, Jason, how did you find, define success for Tangerine? Well, so we, we set up with increments. And we said, okay, what's, what can, there's two ways of looking at it. Let me say it this way. There's two ways of looking at it. Can we get the team to take a, a new action? And then can we measure the results on their actions? Okay. And so uh, we were, the way we measured Tangerine's engagement with us is can we get the right metrics in place from both those phases? And that's sort of how we figured out, are we doing the right thing. Now, in all fairness to Tangerine, this is a long-term uh, process. Right. And we have a large team with lots of folks, and so we have those metrics in place. Now it's sort of um, my job to sort of operationalize them and have them roll out the organization. So, uh, in all fairness to Tangerine, the, the results aren't in yet to really right. measure it, but they gave us a really great start. Great. Thank you, Jason. And Banefshe, you can take it from here. <laughs>